What's going on everyone and welcome back to Monster Surf Stories 2 Wings of Ruin It is the pits because we are headed to the pit of remembrance So what secrets lie at the pits? What secrets do Anna want to tell us? Let's go find out Okay, I did upgrade my T-Rex hammer is level two now does like 107 damage so that's gonna be nice my armor is diablo or more more so bl black diablo i'm gonna check out this rare dam so we're good in armor and weapons as far as that goes and i will probably check out Depending on how long this mission takes us, maybe more rare dens, but we'll see. I haven't found any of the monsters so far that lie within the tower. May or may not have to go there to get them. Oh boy, Black Diabolus do not want to fight you right now. Okay, turned into Centauri so I can hide myself and dodge monsters like Black Diablos. Diaz Diablos or is this? Oh, Mombos. So we could possibly get one of the new monsters in this area. That's kind of cool. He's sweeping. Try not to wake him up. He's snoring. Good lord. Couple Tiger X eggs. I think we're gonna take this one. I'm not even exactly sure what this one is, to be honest, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Black Diablos attacked us as we were leaving the uh, the, the area where the egg was. I just ran away from that fight because I for, I was thinking about fighting it just because I maybe need parts from the Black Diablos, but it's just me and my monsters, so I feel good about that one. Gosh darn it, here's another rare dead. We're gonna check this one out, then we'll continue with our mission. See what we can do here. Another black Diablos. Pretty sure that egg I got wasn't a black Diablos, but I wouldn't mind getting a black Diablos. I believe that's a regular Diablos sleeping in there. He's probably in charge of guarding Black Diablos' eggs, and here he's sleeping on the job. She's gonna be pissed. She is gonna be pissed. I'm gonna straight up steal one of the eggs. This might be actually the Mombolos. I'm gonna try for a super rare egg of some sorts. Actually, this might be Black Diablo, so we're gonna take this one. Oh crap, they're gone. Is he gonna wake up? Nope, he's not. He's gonna sleep right through it. Man, he is gonna get chewed out. He's gonna wake up and the Egg is gonna be gone, and she's gonna be like, "You're toast." Then give him the look and everything. I mean, it looks like we're actually going to the lab now. I 
Nope, not even close. Okay, for the life of me, I cannot remember how to get to this pit of re remembrance. I forgot that you had a fly with Ratha. Try and get him to land. Oops. Red never stopped searching for answers about the pits. And then he came to Ruto to tell us of the coming danger. Hello, Red. Hey. It's good to see you. Look at you all. You haven't changed a bit. I'm really starting to feel the years. Is all this true? They're not just regular fissures in the ground. These pits, they're everywhere, too. I have to find the truth behind what's causing them. No, uh, the truth? Have you seen something in the pits? No. I haven't seen a thing, but I heard something. It was a monster's voice, echoing from the depths. A monster's voice? Yes. Just hearing it, I knew. Ruin is coming to our world. As unbelievable as that sounds, it behooves us to investigate. So, we made our way here. I think the truth to the pits is this noise. Yes. <gasps> it is a voice. It certainly is. Did it say the beginning? It's the cry of new life. <laughs> was his fate. Life is so fleeting, 
so fragile and precarious. Red may have been strong and skilled, but against the awesome power of nature, he was merely a man. He never stood a chance. Things just kept getting worse. But I heard that Guardian Ratha had survived and returned to Hekolo Island. I went there to see Red's old monster again. Then, of course, that's when I met you. Red never managed to find the truth of the pits. It's my purpose to finish what he started. But I can't do it alone. I'm going to need your help, and Rathas too. Thank you. Come on, we're buddies, right? Buddies help each other out. You don't need to worry. Buddies. You're right. Of course we're friends. Look. We'll find the truth together. Let's go. It looks like we're going to another pit. So we learn a little bit more how Red died. Or so to speak died. He could still be alive, honestly. monster was here and didn't hold back huh yes and the lights grown in intensity <laughs> oh no it's a pit of preposterous proportions yes it swallowed the entire village Make a meal out of me? Hold on. You think I'm a conchu for you to chew on? Isn't that? Must have got me confused with a regular feline. I know that voice. Positively. Claudacious. <laughs> Yeah, definitely anyway we can worry about that after we deal with this Puero Peco. And that's rage rage, so this is gonna be fabulous. I think they're technical monsters. We'll do some damage with our power abilities. Man, I feel like I barely did any damage. That song's to drain an opponent's strength, but would it be really bad if it could catnip right here?
Let's see if I can get Ratha to do the same target as me. Not that matters, because he's doing a Venom Strike. Oh, we'll do double attack. Nice. Okay. Uh, I guess he's targeting Ratha. Oh, never mind. He's going to target me the whole time. Fabulous. Hey, okay, Carol Pacto. And take cries of the monsters to call in reinforcements. The fight will be a lot easier if we could stop it using its mimic voice ability. Okay, so I'm assuming our attack is Fice. First, I'm gonna take an item. Ride on, because they're gonna just keep attacking me. I think they're both doing technical abilities. Oh, sure, he picks speed the one time. Never mind, he's angry though. That's my bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna use my kinship because they are just gonna tag team my butt. Nice. Hey, Wrath is getting his booty punched. I kind of want to keep my focus on the Crimson Propecto because so he won't call any more reinforcements. At least that's my thoughts. We're both full health. I think he's doing speed. Here, um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, they're both attacking me, so that's fabulous. Um, these are both doing speed, actually. They changed my monster out. Oh, sure, now he goes back to technical. Bring Hades out. He has more of a damage all abilities, which is nice. I'm gonna waste no time. I'm gonna give him burning thing. Oh, he's burning blast is what I need, so I'm gonna have to wait a turn. Okay, hopefully he. I 
say, hopefully he can attack the same target I am, but he is not. And he got his butt royally pounded. So now he's mad, so he's pretty to be speed. Fortunately, though, I'm going to give Hades... Actually, I don't. Because if he's speed... To bring my... Technical monster out. To focus our attack on Crimson. This is your guard. And I did not mean to give that potion to myself. This is really bad. I mean, he's gonna wait and see. Okay, cool, we can ride. I think he's still mad, so he'll still be doing speed attacks. And yeah, do my kinship skill. Oh, this will attack both of them. That's good. some health to Dexter. This time I'll try not to screw it up. Good job, Dexter. Okay, the question is now, is the Crimson mad still? I have to change my weapon. He is not. He's back to technical again. Sorry, Dexter. Yeah, it's fine. You stay in guard if you want. Okay. He's kind of paralyzed anyway. Okay, so he's back to technical. So bring out. So let's bring out Diablos. Oops. The power attack. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, sure, he's speed now. Oh, sweet, we defeated him though. Okay, so now we can just focus on the Hermitor. Who is mad now? He's been doing tech, so he's probably power. Bring Boulder out. Little speed monster. Do a little body attack. Sword does not work that easy. Speed. I was wrong. Okay, Dexter, you're back out. At least until he's far less mad. 
I think he's attacking me, so Dexter's probably fine in health. Do a claw attack. I'll go to Revolt the Char doing the do the claw, so double attack. Yep, I'm gonna change my weapon because my sword does not work on any of the body parts that are left. Ride. I'm gonna do the kinship because he's not targeting us. I think he's about ready to do his ultimate ability anyway. Nice, and flicking with paralysis. Okay, so he's back to technical because he's no longer mad. Take a break, Dexter. We'll bring out. These my power monsters are sorry bunch. Wrath has the most health. Hey, Wrath, let's do this. Both attack the shell. And we're not. What are you attacking, Rafa? Oh, you're doing a savage fireball, I see. Oh, he's attacking the claws. Okay. You want to attack the claws again? I'll attack. We can double attack and destroy him. Oh, he's going to go guard. Lame. Ride on. Since he's bound and determined to guard, I will do my kinship skill. I set a giant fireball on top of him. It broke the claws. I think that would actually keep him from guarding now. Hey, yeah, good. We both decided to attack the shell. Good job, Rafa. I'm trying to use a skill here. Holy crap. That was nice. And we can ride on. The Hermitar is about down. I'm gonna do my kinship skill and hopefully this'll end it.
Nope, he still has life in him. Okay, now he's mad, so I believe he went to... He went to speed, didn't he? Still only left to attack. Never seen that Cora Peco, Peco, sorry, uh, get this worked up before. Because of the Rage Raid, at least it hasn't spread to any other monsters yet. You, that was a close one. Ugh, color me impressed. Waltzing around with monsters? Positively claudacious stuff. Huh? Sarge? Sarge! meow de doo partner. <laughs> Thank you! Positively claudacious! I must be dreaming! <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. With your antics, I'm surprised you're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know Naviru? Hmm? <laughs> Name's Orgo. The two of us go way back. He's my brother from another mother. What she call you? You're going by Naviru now? Navigating Naviru. Pretty cool, right? Sure is. Positively! Claudacious! And <laughs> for, um... And what? It's nothing. I mean, it's positively claudacious. <laughs> you bet it is. You bet it is. I owe you one. Why don't you drop by my place? Huh. So you live around here now? Yeah. Lots changed. I haven't seen you in forever. There's so much I want to tell you. Do you mind uh, if we swing by Sarge's house? It's fine. It looks like we're heading to Orgo's house. Okay. Wherever that's at. Nice, another new area. And there is a rare Dan, but I am going to go to Orgo's house. It is very hard for me to dodge that, but... Sarge, this is where you live? That's right. As you can see, it's a shelter for felines. A shelter? For those who lost their homes and got nowhere else to lay their heads. How did they lose their homes? You saw the pit earlier, right? Our village used to be right there. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. It's tough times for everyone, but I haven't lost my spirit. I got my family. That does help. As if losing our village wasn't enough. Terrifying monsters are hanging around the pit. Some are acting real strange, like the one you saved me from. This must be so stressful. Is there some way we can help? Yes, yeah, Sarge, don't be shy. Ask for anything. Anything? We're family, aren't we? We help each other out, especially during hard times. Aw, oh, thank you, guys. 
Let's get ready and go check out the monsters in this area. Pardon me, Ryder, but is it true what you were talking about, Orgo? We saw a terrible a monster in the Bloomburst Grove. That's why we're hiding out here. Our settlement is in Bloomburst Grove. Please help us. That's why we're all gathered here, huh? Paul right. Fear not, my feline friends. We'll go and check out your monster. Hey, protect the hideout. After Anna tells you how Red died, you decide to uncover the truth he was searching for while investigating the light. Navaru shares a touching reunion with Orgo and offers his help when the friend when he finds out Orgo's former village was destroyed by a pit. And now his new home is threatened by monsters. Okay, so our new area is actually a feline city, so that's kind of cool. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We've been quite playing for quite a while. But from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for watching. And I hope I've brought you some entertainment. Even if it's just a little bit. If I did, I hope to see you in the next episode. Till then, folks, bring joy in the world, not hate. Have a great day.